Okay, so in this question, I'm going to be doing a uh, chain rule and I'm going to do quite a few problems because chain rule is extremely important in uh, calculus and you pretty much need it in most of the chapters, if not all after this. Okay, so chain rule occurs when you have a composite function, one function inside another like this case. So in that case, you have to derive this normally. So I'm going to bring this four down. The inside, inside stays exactly the same. I'm going to subtract one from the exponent and then I'm going to multiply by the inside of the bracket, the derivation of the inside. So if I derive the inside, I just have three. And then I'm going to simplify this. So three times four is 12, three X minus seven cube. Let's try it with the next one. I'm going to bring the half down. I'm going to write this exactly the same. Subtract one, that's negative half. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivation of the inside. So if I drive the inside, I just have four. Four times half is two. I'm not allowed to have a negative exponent in my final solution. So this is going to simplify to two over four X minus three to the power of positive half. So I just moved that down and became positive. Let's take a look at number three. E function, when you drive an E function, it's always the exact same thing, but you gotta multiply by the derivation of the exponent. That's my chain rule. If I drive this exponent, I just get eight x. If I simplify this, it's just eight x e to the four x square. The derivation of a ln function is one over that function. So one over 12 X cube, and then multiplied by the derivation of the inside, the derivation of the inside, that's 36 X square. You can simplify this. It's 36 X square over 12 X cube. And that can be simplified further to three over X because the 36 and the 12 cancel. That's three over one and the square and the cube cancel, you're left with three over X. Let's take a look at number five, it's an E function. So E functions, when you derive, you write the exact same thing. And then you multiply by the derivation of the exponent. So that's two X minus six. You can leave it like that or you can move that to the front, but that's pretty much the final solution. Same thing for this, I'm going to bring the 5 to the front. I'm going to write the exact same thing in the bracket. I'm going to subtract 1 from the exponent. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivation of the inside. The derivation of the inside is 3x squared minus 6x. And you can leave that as your final solution. You don't have to simplify that one further. Okay, and last one, ln function. So one over whatever's inside the bracket multiplied by the derivation of the inside. That's just two X minus five. I can simplify that a bit. It's two X minus five over X squared minus five X plus two. That's basically an overview of the chain rule.